Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, my name is Rigatoni. I'm going to be hopping into some of the JP dev notes of 823 and also guys, I just want to say a quick little thank you for the last video, the slime collab leaks, you guys are absolutely amazing, you guys crushed that video, thank you. Uh, so let's just hop right in and I think I can zoom in a little bit more. Alright, there we go. Hello everyone, I'm Cape, or I'm cool. Okay, I thought it was the other word. Uh, the producer of Seven Greats. Oh, I hate Google Translate. It hurts my brain. Seven Great Sins, a pet of light and darkness, has been in service for over two years now. Due to the characteristics of mobile games, I feel like I've reached the present before I knew it while updating it at a fast tempo. At the end of the second anniversary of Ragnarok and the Holy War Festival, I began to look up back on Seven Great Sins, a pet of light and darkness. During the two years, there was a big chance and 70s i'm just gonna say 70s that's what it translates to <laughs> we've added a lot of things such as the appearance of new content and the addition of more familiar training methods we have endeavored to provide various services from super boss battle king to night group battle but as time time passed the original purpose faded and some did not meet expectations yes all the like guys i'm gonna go down below if you'd like to see me rank every single final boss because all of the uh, final boss uh, like demons were really, really easy in my opinion. You just brought Sario and they got absolutely slapped. Oh, am I cutting it out of frame? Whoops. My bad, guys. My bad. I'm... Oops. Uh... Where was I? Uh, we've endeavored to provide various services from Super Plus, but okay, I've already done that. Looking back on the 70s, this that has been running without rest even after the second anniversary. We we're planning to make improvements one by one by giving time to reconsider the missing parts. By the way, this developer note will tell you about the new content that will be updated and the content about the Knights Battle. We'll also tell you about the general content update plan that we are currently preparing with the goal of updating within the third to fourth quarter of this year. I thought they were going to say third and fourth year. I was like, okay, goddamn. Also, guys, I like that they're actually telling us what they're going to be doing. A lot of games nowadays are really scummy and don't tell you a roadmap at all. Granted, I don't play that many mobile games, but, like, just in terms of, like, actual games, they, like, the only game that I can think of that actually tells us what they're doing is Halo Infinite, but that's because they've been yelled at so many times for not telling anybody what they're doing that they kind of have to. So, yeah, uh, the new content Demon Beast Battle mentioned in the previous developer note will be updated soon. Oh, I'm sorry, I just yawned. Oh. Oh. I just woke up, I'm sorry. Demon Beast Battle is a PvE content that fights against the powerful powers and the special abilities of the world of Ragnarok. And that monster that Sigurd was fighting in Chapter 1. Okay. Among them, the monster battle is the content centered on the battle with the monsters, so-called named, and we plan to show it in a slightly different composition from the boss battle so far. Content composed with the idea that we want to deliver the fun when the super boss battle first appeared or face, or when we face Hendrickson in the flower field, we were able to research and challenge for the capture and breakthrough. Yeah, like, dude, Hendrickson used to be actually very difficult, I won't even lie. Thought that would be a new target for capture and a challenge for 70s. Unlike the conventional boss battle, one stage is composed of three or more phases, and the characteristics of the demon beast change randomly in each phase. Therefore, it is a content that requires a strategy to maximize the fighting efficiency of each character by grasping the changing characteristics of the demon beast and forming the best team for capture. So it seems like there's going to be three phases, and it can just have completely random stuff. So it could have like stuff that's like the gray demon one time, and then stuff that's like Belmus the second one. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact same, but, like, is that what it means? Maybe. I don't know. Um, the Demon Beast changes more powerfully as the stage goes up, and when you enter this upper stage, the physical strength of the character at the time of clearing the previous stage is inherited. So in order to capture the Demon Beast of a higher stage, the team physical fitness and management of members is also an important strategy factor. Demon Beast Battle is a high-difficulty capture type content that requires skill usage, strategies, and sufficient character development that respond to the characters of team formation and demon beast rather than the absolute performance of each character all right so what this sounds like to me is this is going to be a top top tier to form of pve so all i'm going to say right now is if you're fairly new to the game it's probably going to be impossible and near impossible so 
Don't get mad if you can't beat it. I already have a bunch of people that are saying, oh, I can't beat Tower Trials, 7DS, why do you do this? Because they need hard content in the game, because the whales have been sitting here like, why am I even playing this game? This is boring. So that's why they're bringing this in. Demon Beast Battle will be implemented as content all the time, and we plan to add Demon Beasts that require new strategies and regular intervals. Alright, good, good. Now, keep, now actually, like, keep that up. Holy Objects and Production System. At the time, same time as the Demon Beast Battle update, we will add a system that allows you to create a new type of wearing item, Sacred Object. Sacred Object is a powerful item that exists only in the world of Ragnarok and can be produced with special materials obtained from the Demon Beast. Sacred Object is commonly applied to character groups that share costumes, and when worn, basic stats will increase, and a special buff effect will be, able, will be added. The Sacred Objects that can be created and the... Target characters will be updated sequentially by adding them periodically. Okay, that doesn't really tell me anything. Um, direction of management regarding the battle against the knights. Currently, the knight battle is being held by adding normal and distinguishing between normal and advanced. Normal is the situation where we're fixing the problems and balance that are occurring. Okay, so this is a knighthood battle. Or knight. Knighthood battle. Not like. Knight war. Guild wars. Guild wars. God. <sighs> Oh, yawning. It hurts. Night Battles is a content in which all members of a large number of knights participate and cooperate to communicate. Okay. Uh, it's a content that proves the strength and activity of all the knights. The addition of the Night Battle normal has reduced the pro pro progress schedule of the advanced. And the knights who have to do both the advanced and normal for more than a month are complaining about the burden, especially the fight. Just do one. Like, what? It's only 10 gems from, for ungeared. Who cares? I think that the situation will be more burdensome when it overlaps with the festival season. Possibly. Uh, in order to improve this point, we are considering a change to the method of setting a break period between the night battle advance and normal. Yeah, make it like... How long does regular Guild Wars last? Is it like three weeks? Whatever it is, it should be one go at a time and then the other goes at a time. Currently, discussions are underway to, on changes to the operation method of night battles, and we are aiming to apply it after the battle in September. In addition, as the night's battle advanced has been upgraded to major battle content, we are planning to raise the rewards. Nice, yes, buff those rewards. Let those people who whale get more out of it. And I think that it is necessary to... I'm just crying, guys. Look at what this is. No, I just saw it. Uh, I don't even care. It's, uh, in order to resolve these points, we're discussing changes to the night battle advanced balance and base buffs. Advanced balance improvement is targeted to be applied together when the operation schedule is changed. Since adding five stages of Super Awakening in March this year, we have attained five stages until now, but with the update in early September, we plan to add stage six so early. Why? Why? They waited an entire year for stage five, bro. In order to reduce the burden on players as much as possible, we plan to send 100 Super Awakening coins. Wow. But guess what, guys? It's going to take, like, 18 if that unit is 6-6. Six, six. With the addition of 6 levels of Super Awakening as before. The addition of 6 stages of Super Awakening is scheduled to be implemented in early September in consideration of the influence of the ba inf balance of Night Battle normal implementation. Ooh, so is this that bad? Is this that bird? And then can you fight every single final boss? Maybe. This looks like Guild Wars. This just looks like all the knighthoods, knighthood bosses. Okay. Uh, finally, I'd like to tell you about the direction of the content update currently planned. As I mentioned above, Seven Great Sins is composed of various play contents, but as time goes by, the purpose of the play is fading and the fun is decreasing. I feel it. Well, at least someone else feels it as well. As new characters appear and continue to be nurtured, we have decided that it is necessary to change the composition and purpose of the main content accordingly, and we would like to proceed with the reorganization of each content in sequence by October. Night boss, subjugation battle. First of all, we were planning to disclose the upper difficulty level of the knights, uh, of the knights boss subjugation battle and reorganize the score calculation method and reward. We are improving the form so that you can play more efficiently and get rewards by clearing the upper difficulty level rather than re repeating play to get fixed rewards. Okay, so this sounds like we're going to be getting how the revamped like knighthood bosses are, but with better rewards potentially. 
Next is the direction of improvement regarding the training cave, which is the main source of equipment growth materials. In the case of training cave, it is content that we definitely want you to play, but due to various restrictions, many players feel that it is content that is ridiculous to play. We're planning to improve the inconvenience of the con in of the conventional training cave and the item acquisition efficiency. And we will inform you about the detailed improvement direction in the developer's note at a later date. Okay, you keep pushing it back. The regular content, Super Boss Battle, first appeared as a capture type content, but as the update was repeated, the capture was simplified and as the rewards of the Super Boss Battle Seasonal Shop were standardized, Super Boss Battle costumes for each character were released. Recognize as homework like content to earn, there are many seasons in which only some specific characters are effective in capturing high scores, and it is not suitable for the intended use of various characters. The Super Boss Battle will be reorganized at the end of the Super Boss Battle season, season 11 currently being held, so Zelda and Esther Osa. In the future Super Boss Battle, we will, con we will concentrate on the gameplay suitable for the position of the capture type content and enjoy it. And we have set the direction of reorganization to the content with the purpose of earning rewards at any time based on the result and evaluation of the play. So maybe they've just already had all the Super Bosses already laid out and that's why they're all so bland and they just thought it would be fine? I don't know. About the reward of the Tower of Trials, after changing the, to the Tower of Trials from the conventional season-based content to the stage cum cumulative tower-type content, many players commented that the rewards were limited, the volume updated every month decreased, and the goal of playing disappeared. It is a situation that I have received more. The volume of the Tower of Trials update is currently maintained to be able to provide at least three layers on a regular basis, while, restated, while resetting and restage-wide rewards and resetting and restage-wide rewards at specific points to strengthen the motivation to continue cloning sta additional stages. We will apply the method that you can regain the reward if you clear it. When resetting the rewards of the Tower of Trials, we will secure a sufficient period for implementation and notify you in advance. So they're going to redo all of those towers? Some people are going to be pissed. Hopefully you can just not re-clear it if you don't want. Ugh. If you don't want to, like, hopefully you don't have to clear it again to get to the, the newest stage. Because some people really hate that second stage. And they just got really, really lucky. Some people really hate stage four, you know, etc, etc. Like, I don't know, that might make, make some people mad. In addition, we plan to make updates in the fourth quarter to improve the inconvenience of using content and enhance the convenience on the screen so that the conventional main content can be enjoyed more. Along with the content reorganization, we will also release some new content under development with the goal of updating within the year. Power Battle, tentative name. We are currently planning a Power Battle as a cooperative content based on the main battle of the original. If you select one of the two opposing powers and clear the dedicated battle content classified by power for a certain period of time, the contribution will be added up as your own proper power units and the power with the higher highest total accumulated power will finally win it's a content to be done it's really weirdly translated it's honestly hurting my head the more battles you win the more power points you can contribute the more you contribute the more exclusive rewards you'll get power battle is planned to be updated as regular event content okay uh we would like to take this opportunity to apologize for the inconvenience and concern caused by the recent update that caused problems and inadequate response there are so many things that are missing but I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all the players who, comp who continue to support me. Well, thank you, Koopy. Uh, this all sounds really great, but SA6 needs to be delayed. That's horrible. Anyways, guys, let me know down below. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited for SA6? Even though I know literally only like one of you guys are. Uh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. They should have given up like a thousand, bro. Uh, this PVE content sounds really cool. Let me know down below. What is your most favorite thing that, uh, that's going to be dropped in the near future? And hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And peace out.